Hi class. Um, so I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, various components of the course from how do I find where the course is to how do I log in to uh, where are the discussion forums, where's the content. So I thought I'd just do kind of a brief tutorial on desire to learn as well as the course and where you can find things and how you should be thinking about the course. So um, let's just get started. So when you start off at the MSU website, uh, you can find the course management system by just typing desire to learn and it should pop up beneath it. And so when you click on that link, uh, it'll take you to the login page. So when you click login, normally you'll have to sign in with your MSU ID, um, so your username and, and password. And then it will take you to um, a list of all of your courses on the left hand side here. And you want to choose ISB 202. And you will come to this website. And so I'm going to pause the presentation briefly as I take it to the student view real quick. Okay, so when you get into the course, it will look something like this. Uh, if you're coming in for the first time, you'll only see the Begin Here folder and not the Psychology folder. So if you click on the Begin Here folder, you will see some intro materials that you can um, look at to kind of understand the overview of the course. So there's an animation overview, a copy of the syllabus, a link to the discussion forum where you can introduce yourself to everyone else, and an acknowledgments page for all the work that people have done um, getting this course ready. So in general though, when you're looking at, uh, when you come into the, to the course you actually see two columns. The first column is all of the content and you can kind of go through different parts of the content by looking at this um, at this half of the page. And then on the right hand side are where you can find news and announcements from the course. So I'll try to post anything important that you need to um, look at over on this side. So if you're first coming into the course, well I'll go over um, the different tabs real quick. So this will take you to this view if you're somewhere else in the course. Um, you can look at just the content which will show you a table of contents over here on the left um, and then the different components within that part on the right here. So if you just click on the begin here folder you'll see those files that we just talked about. Um, if you click on the psychology module, you can see the different files that you might interact with on, in it. And so this is kind of just your place where you can find all the content. And you can also click on it in order to view it. So this is a, a place that you can navigate from. But you can also navigate from the course home over here. Right, so and then here are all the files that are involved with this module. And click home to come back to the table of contents, so to speak. When we look at course tools, um, you can look at checklists. So we are um, also generating checklists that will show you what you need to do for each week. So if you click on the checklist, it will open up a second window, which will allow you to check off what you've done. So as soon as you do the reading, you can check that off. Um, and it also has links to the things, to the different uh, components of the course that... So you can, you can either just navigate directly from the checklist or you can do it from the table of contents uh, that we've already been looking at. So that's under course tools, the checklist. But we also try to have a, a link to that in the content just so that you can find it from different areas. The assessments tab takes you to um, your basically you'll be using this to find your grades. Um, you can also access the quizzes um, and surveys that we might ask you. So for this course um, we have you go through quizzes and surveys in order to collect information about what's working about the course and what's not and also to give you some feedback uh, so that you understand what's working for you um, and what's not. But those are actually not graded so what we would like you to do is to try your best on those, but not to worry if you get something wrong. You should just 
remember that you got it wrong and it, it might help to direct you on what you need to learn um, better. But uh, those are not going towards your grade. For your grade, we are mostly using discussion forums and uh, a personal uh, forum, which is kind of like a blog. And that can all be found under the Communications tab. So under the Communications tab, you can uh, click on the Discussions, which will take you to the different uh, discussion forums that we have set up. Uh, there are two kind of ways to think about discussions. There's a, uh, a forum, and then there are topics. So under the Help forum, there are three topics, either help with technology, you can ask questions about the content, or you can ask if you think that there's like a more elaboration that you want on the science, you can discuss that here. Uh, so there are these different forums that you can interact with. This one is uh, for technical help. Um, this one is just to have you talking with your peers and uh, about different topics. This is actually where we have the introduce yourself discussion forum. Um, and then you have the other kind of three major, four major discussion forums. These three are public, so you'll be interacting and leaving responses to people. And then this fourth one is your personal forum that will only be between you and the instructor. And that's when we talk about blog, we're talking about this personal forum. And so those are the, the different tabs. I'd like to take you back to the course home. So you know how I said if you first come into this course, you probably only see the begin here folder. That's because you need to take these three um, surveys slash quizzes in order to unlock the content. So if you only see the begin here folder, you want to go ahead and take these three um, and then the psychology module will become open for you. And then you'll be able to click through it. Um, you can use the checklist here or uh, go through the different activities. We also have an assignment sheet that kind of sums up everything that you're going to be graded on for that um, for that lesson, for that module. So I hope this gives you kind of a brief overview. Um, Desire to Learn has had some uh, tricky implementation parts, so we've had to tweak the course from how we were originally going to offer it. So there have been some changes in the syllabus that uh, were brought to my attention. So I've uploaded a new syllabus that should describe uh, those things better. And also, um, I hopefully made the point system a little clearer than what you originally have. So sorry about the confusion. So check that out. And if you have questions, what you can do is click on the communications part, and go to discussions, and then click on the help and you can post your questions here. Actually, I'll probably change this so it's not help with technology, but help with the course. And so it'll be a little bit more descriptive. So I hope that helps you to understand how you should navigate through Desire to Learn. And if you have any questions, post them to the discussion forum, and I shall get to those within 24 hours. So I hope this helps, and I will talk to you soon.